Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna back with another video for subscriber week and today we're discussing the following topic given to me by one of you guys and we are going to be discussing the lymphatics of upper limb today and then we will focus on the discussion of the lymphatics of other regions as well so let's focus our attention on the upper limb first uh, in the upper limb you have to remember basically the border the lymphatics are in the first place lymphatics are basically uh, consisting of this whole system of lymph nodes that are concentrated places of uh, wbcs and then the vessels that carry lymph within and outside of those lymph nodes that's the main concept so when someone's asking you the word lymphatics write down the lymphatic drainage they're not only expecting you to write down the lymph nodes but they're also expecting you to write down the lymphatic vessels as well and that is something that most of the students miss so in the lymphatic uh, of the upper limb uh, the most important or the most weightage is being is going to be given to the axillary group, group of lymph nodes and mostly lymph nodes so uh, if you have five marks for the question uh, most probably they, the three marks weightage will be given to the axillary group of lymph nodes in the upper limb even nodes and then the rest two marks they'll focus if you're talking about the other lymph nodes and the lymphatic vessels as well okay so let's talk about the axillary lymph nodes focus our attention to the board now axillary lymph nodes uh, are the main group that drains the limb from the upper limb all right the first group uh, of the axillary lymph nodes there are basically five groups in total and the first group is anterior group of nodes also known as the pectoral group of nodes you need to know in these is that location of where this is kept remember this that uh, the lateral thoracic it lies along the lateral thoracic vessels uh, and the lateral thoracic vessels where do i find those you just find them in the lower border of the pectoralis minor how difficult was that not at all okay and then we have the, the this is going to be basically draining most of your breast and uh, the rest of your anterior half of the trunk obviously their name is anterior group what else do you expect them to drain uh, then we have the posterior group of lymph nodes the posterior group is going to be lying along the subscapular vessels and the posterior group is going to drain what do you think it will drain it will drain the posterior half of the trunk then we have another group this lies along the medial part of the axillary vein this is the axillary vein in close proximity to the humerus this group is known as the lateral group all right uh, lateral group because you can see it is lateral in the trunk and this group is most responsible for uh, draining the lymph from the upper limb most of the upper limb so remember these this group as well then we have the group uh, known as the central group of axillary lymph node this lies in the axillary fat the yellow i have made is basically for the fat and this group is going to be uh, located over here it is going to be receiving lymph from the lateral group from the anterior group from the posterior group all right and then this uh, central group eventually drains into another group of the fifth axillary lymph node group known as the infraclavicular group of lymph nodes this is going to be lying inferior to the clavicle so i don't think that's a difficult thing to learn and the interesting part about these infraclavicular lymph nodes is that they are also going to be draining um, the lymph from a very important and very like interesting place from the thumb remember that from the thumb and the web of the thumb the lymph goes into the infraclavicular group this might be an mcq question so i want you guys to uh, make sure that you are noting this down so that is for the uh, axillary lymph nodes the five groups are complete you should know their locations uh, then they uh, might ask or they, you might have to write the other group of lymph nodes very easy all you have to do is above the medial epicondyle of the humerus you just make these lymph nodes called the supratrochlear lymph nodes then we have the deltopectoral uh, group this is basically lying in close proximity to the infraclavicular group it's kind of like part of the infraclavicular group but it is a little bit displayed and that's enough i don't think you need to write more lymph nodes than this now you'll just talk about the lymph vessels what will you say about the lymph vessels all you have to say is that the superficial lymphatics these are going to be uh, draining into the axillary nodes and they will drain what the skin and subcutaneous tissue you just translate the superficial word and then we have the deep lymphatics these are going to drain the deeper tissues and these also majority of them drain into the axillary lymph nodes so right there you can see how important the axillary lymph nodes are so guys that was all you need to know for the upper limb lymphatic drainage so now let's talk about the lymphatics of the lower limb in the lower limb uh, it's basically you have to remember the most important inguinal group of lymph nodes so it's overall the limb, lower limb lymphatics are divided into superficial and deep lymphatics the superficial lymphatics are going to be the superficial group of inguinal lymph nodes this is the most important part of the lymphatics of lower limb so uh, let's draw the superficial inguinal lymph nodes now remember this they are basically kept in the formation of a t and what do i mean by that so remember guys over here this over here this landmark important landmark over here this is the inguinal ligament and just below the inguinal ligament there is a medial part of the inguinal ligament this is the lateral part of the inguinal ligament and then what you can see here this is a great saphenous vein it's about to terminate enter the uh, saphenous opening right 
just about over in this area you have this t shaped group of lymph nodes just like that all right in the t how is it made it is formed by the lower vertical group right over here which is going to be present at the termination of the great saphenous vein this is going to be draining most of the lymph from the uh, lower limb and then you have the upper medial group and an upper lateral group to form the t that there's no other way to form a t guys obviously this is how you're going to do it now the medial part of the T, which is upper medial group this will drain most of your perineum all right and now you're going to be wondering what is this yellow line i've drawn over here so remember what is this this is umbilicus if i pass a plane over here it is known as the uh, umbilical plane if something comes beneath the umbilicus it is known as infra umbilical so i'm dividing that infra umbilical part of the anterior abdominal wall into a medial part and a lateral part now obviously the medial part of the infra umbilical part of the medial side of the anterior abdominal wall is going to be drained into the upper medial group there is no rocket science you just just describe what you're seeing what about the upper lateral group easy it is going to be draining most of the lymph from the gluteal region and what else is left right here it is going to be draining uh, the lateral side of the uh, anterior abdominal wall on the infraumbilical part and one more uh, thing i forgot to tell you is that upper medial group also drains the lymph from the perineum and external genitalia as well now let's talk about the deep lymph lymphatics of the lower limb. Uh, the, uh, some groups names you need to know and names are enough is the popliteal group of lymph node which is going to be lying you can see this is the back of the leg. Uh, these are going to be lying in the popliteal fossa of course right at the termination of the small saphenous vein which you can see right over here. This is where it's going to terminate soon. Uh, this is uh, where the popliteal group of lymph nodes is lying and the ones that lie with the anterior tibial artery. So let's suppose that this artery is anteriorly and just along them this lies the anterior tibial nodes these are a group of lymph nodes so obviously these will drain the lymph nodes of their territory with what whatever comes uh, close so it's going to drain the anterior side of the leg whereas the popliteal group of lymph nodes will drain what the territory drained by the short saphenous vein or most of the leg now we have another group known as a deep lymph deep inguinal lymph nodes deep inguinal lymph nodes all they are going to do is receive most of the uh, lymph from the popliteal group of lymph nodes and from the superficial group of inguinal lymph nodes and now all you have to remember we're done with the lymph nodes we've done the checklist so what is left as per the rule the lymphatic vessels very easy superficial lymphatics now the lymphatic vessels also are divided into superficial and a deep group just like the just like where we've just the way we've studied in other regions right? Now the superficial lymphatics, all of these form a mainstream and end up in the lower vertical group of the inguinal lymph nodes, superficial inguinal lymph nodes in their lower vertical group, uh, basically following the stream of the great saphenous vein and the other stream it forms is along the short saphenous vein and this is how it ends up in the popliteal group. So superficial lymphatics drain into superficial inguinal lymph nodes and the popliteal group of lymph nodes. And finally the deep, these deep inguinal lymph nodes, they all just end up in the uh, deep inguinal lymph nodes and that is it that's all you needed to know for the lymphatics of the lower limb i don't think that's too hard uh, so guys thank you so much for watching this was all for the lymphatics uh, if you are wondering where the thorax lymphatics it's uh, in my video i have placed the link in the description below where i've talked about the thoracic duct and thoracic wall so that video is already there you should go and check that out so guys happy subscriber week to you all and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video